It's no secret that athletes' shoes have become more popular than ever. When you think of what makes an athlete memorable, you usually think of the things like talent and hard work. But for some, you may also remember what shoes they wore. Our Danny Sullivan had the chance to sit down and take a look at the life of a shoe designer. Everyone has that signature pair of shoes that helps define who they are. But when it comes to taking that pair of shoes to the next level, sneakerheads can turn to Valley native Kennedy Rutu, who's also known as Kicks by Kenneth. But I started this during COVID. Um, as I said before, we have a joke going that during COVID people get a puppy and I got a business. Um, but I, there was a trend going along on YouTube and I saw it and I was like, I really want to try this. I think it's going to be fun. And I did and I found out I have a knack for it. That knack has turned into quite the venture for Kenna, who is currently enrolled at Arizona State University. Her popular Instagram run business, Kicks by Kenna, totals over 6,000 followers thanks to a little assistance from her mom. People just DM and order and we tell them the process, which we have all the clients ship the shoes to us. And then um, she goes ahead and does the design. And then when they're finished, we ship them back out. Um, usually there's a two to three week waiting period just because she is backed up with orders. While Kicks by Kenna currently gets 15 to 20 custom orders per week, it didn't really become official until the first pair of shoes dropped. It's such a cool thing to look at these shoes and know like they were the first pair that she like had ever sold and they were the and now like the people that she's doing shoes for are like crazy and it's so like it's just really cool to be able to like know that like I did know it from the start. Kicks by Kenna quickly drew the attention of former Sun Devil athletes Frankie Collins and Jalen Conyers and what started as a business partnership has evolved into a lasting friendship. She's gonna do my cleats again this year. I'm gonna mail her my shoes this year. So, you know, uh, you know, you maybe have a little bit of a hard time doing, you know, different colors, but you know, it'll be uh, it'll be cool. But you know, like I said, uh, me and her have always been cool. I, I've always, you know, appreciated her for everything. Now, while Kenna's shoes can be seen all over the world of sports, her talent reaches far beyond that. Her talent actually reaches all the way to the Oval Office, where President Joe Biden has his own custom pair. He wanted his pre presidential crest on there and then the White House and then his dog. So they turned out super cool and I got to send them out to him and I got some cool pictures of that. And she managed to get me, he sent me a letter with my name written on the top in his handwriting and his stamp at the bottom and he signed it and it was the coolest thing ever. And it doesn't stop there. One day her work might be in outer space with a future astronaut who wears his legacy on his shoes. The first thing I see is, you know, the home where I grew up, you know, and I grew up in, you know, uh, in the Coldfield Projects, which is a very, you know, it's a, it's a low income neighborhood. Um, and I see the, the, the picture of the house that I sent her on the shoes. Then I see, you know, a picture of uh, the car I had sent her, which is my lowrider. It's a 1963 Impala um, because my whole theme, my whole story is from the streets to the stars. And so for her to capture that narrative, and that story on a pair of shoes and made it look good. I mean, it was just amazing. Kenna's work has made an undeniable impact on so many. While she's just scratching the surface of her potential, it's safe to say right now is a good time to be walking in Kenna's shoes. In Tempe, Danny Sullivan, Cronkite News. Ritu won't stop making shoes anytime soon, as she will be attending the 2024 MLB All-Star Game this summer in Texas with other designers and artists as they display their works to the baseball world.